Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This will be my third and final week reviewing classy hair products in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. I do have one update for my last video. I did pin a comment, but just to reinforce, the brand did come back and confirm the preservatives that it uses, phenoxyethanol, citric acid, dehydroacetic acid, and benzoic acid. And per my research, those are all perfectly fine. You can check out my website. I believe they're all listed there on the ingredients tab under chemical ingredients. I am in a hurry <laughs> as usual. So I wanted to just take out my hair, let you see what it looks like seven days later, tell you how it feels, and then I'm gonna go and wash my hair. I was very torn this whole week about what I was gonna do for my week three hairstyle. I'm not gonna do another braid out, I'm not gonna do another twist out. So I'm actually thinking about doing just like a pull through braid in the shower. My hair, it's really fuzzy. And when I say fuzzy, I mean like, it ends up just being like broken hairs. I don't know why I have broken hairs at the top of my, of my head. I feel like it's just, it's just my hair at this point. I take very good care of my hair. I take, take very good care of my health. But for some reason, my hair just at the top continues to break. The rest of my hair continues to grow. So, I mean, it is what it is. But my point is, like, when I do styles like this, they never look sleek. They never look all that great. Unless I was to just put mousse or gel or whatever. And I don't do that just because I don't want to. But I'm wondering if maybe styling it in the shower and then covering it with a silk handkerchief and then sitting under the dryer and letting it dry like that. I'll see if that makes a difference. My hair feels really, really soft. It doesn't look soft or moisturized, but it is both. I haven't touched it since the day I washed it. So let us see how it looks. I just completely missed this section of hair when I was braiding up my hair. Oopsies. All right, so my hair feels as good as it did the day that I washed it. I didn't do any further finessing or pretty much anything. After the end of my last video, I just threw on a cap and left. And then when I got home, I put my hair in the style that you just saw. Here is what it's looking like now. I can't tell if there's really all that much shine or anything, but I'm about to go wash it, so who really cares? Scalp feels good. Absolutely no scalp itching or anything this week. So the shampoo is doing me well. I am gonna go and pre-poo. Last week in my video, I said I was lazy and I wasn't gonna do any like blendering or anything with my aloe. I was just going to cut the leaves and rub it on my hair. That took like an hour. That's not the best way to do it. This morning I went and I blended some aloe meat in my blender and it is in here. So I'm gonna go and pre-poo with this. I will be back when it is time to style my hair in the shower. I hope it goes well. I haven't done a pull through braid in a really long time. I hope I remember how to do it. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. And also it's been, I don't think I have seen my hair out two sections at a time and wet since I, I guess when I used to wash my hair all at once because I didn't need to section it because it wasn't long enough. I haven't seen half of my head out at the same time in like, I don't know, like a lot of months and it looks, looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I guess other than a wash and go. I am trying to figure out the best way to do this. I only have about 45 minutes. <sighs> I'm going to be using my shower head a lot because I need to keep my hair wet so it can be manageable and so it doesn't shrink up and not on itself. I remember the last time I worked with half instead of a quarter of my hair at once. So I'm gonna section out the first section. I have a uh, fine tooth comb, like a, I have a tail comb with like metal on the end that I usually use, but I can't find it. I really wish I had it because that one's so much, because it's so much easier to make parts with that one. But it's so difficult for me to make parts as my hair dries. So I think standing under the shower, at least in this situation, is gonna be really good for me. And I'm gonna try to work in sections about this small. I'm gonna be applying both the Girls Cream and the Classy Curl Definer and my Mango Butter because I feel like I need to layer on products if I want my hair to at all sit or look smooth. So I'm gonna go in with the Classy Curly first. And I'm just gonna be tying it off. I only rinsed out the conditioner from the one half that I'm gonna be working on now. Since I am gonna be working in such small sections, I, am, I think I am gonna use my fine tooth because I, I do need this to be smooth. Okay, so there's the Girls Cream, the Classy Curly Curl Definer that I used in week one. This, Classy Curl, I might've said Classy Curly. And now I'm gonna go in with some of my mango butter. Secure this first section. I don't wanna make it 
too tight. Now I'm just going to hang a clip from it for some weight so it doesn't start shrinking. Wow, my hair let me part it. curl definer, and the mango butter. I'm not confident this is gonna turn out well, but this is just an experiment. I am not great at styling. So the first two sections are ready. So I'm gonna take the first section, split it in half, This. Now I'm going to bring the first section through the middle, clip this section, or rather just hang a clip on it so it doesn't go anywhere and so it doesn't start to shrink. Okay, hold on. All right, now I got to get the third section. If it comes out well, I can do like a separate tutorial on it. But this is really difficult to do for the first time with my hair at this length and just like in this situation and to also walk through what it is that I'm doing when I'm also crunched for time. So <laughs> bear with me, my apologies. If it turns out well, let me know if you'd like a video on it. Just so it's more manageable. I think for this to look its absolute best, I would have to work in much smaller sections, but I don't want to. I'm gonna remove the small section that I split in half. And I'm gonna combine it with this other section. Now I'm gonna split this one in half and repeat this process. Swing that through. It's harder and harder when you can no longer see what you're doing. because my hair is dark, I guess, and all one color. Can't really see, like, anything. It looks terrible. Um, week three is going to be my trial week to find a good protective hairstyle that looks nice. I need to work in smaller sections, and I have, like, these random short hairs that aren't helping. I'm going to have to bobby pin this when I get back, because that's going to look great. Um, this looks terrible. to not eat product just secure it <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay i have like 20 minutes so i'm gonna just do the other side it can't look worse than this so yeah, i guess it can all right have a look at fuzzy city this side was easier because i actually put it in bands before i got started it also helped me follow along like a path and you know what i gotta go i gotta leave to pick up aiden in like four minutes and i'm not dressed for pickup. I'll be back when my hair is dry and I will give you my review of the products. Oh my God, my hair. Hey everyone, so I washed my hair on Thursday. It is actually Monday right now. It is evident that I cannot do anything during the weekend or rather I cannot plan to do things on the weekend. So I didn't get a chance to finish up this video or do anything this weekend. So it's, it's several days later. My hair was actually pretty well laid and not fuzzy for maybe two days. But this is my, these are my dry results. I, hold on a second. When I finished styling my hair, uh, I used this Honey's Handmade Gel. 
that I've used a couple times before. It's always flaked on me in the past, but that's when I use it for like a twist out. But I use them to lay my edges and then I wrapped a silk scarf around and then I went and dried and it actually did say laid and all that, but it was too tight. Probably like I need to wrap around like two or three times instead of like five, which I was doing. I had to cut out a couple of the disposable hair ties because it was just creating, I don't like putting tension on my hair. And it was giving me a little, it was giving me some discomfort. I had to go somewhere this morning and I was planning to at least um, take out the braids and just have it in like a braid out for the, for the second half. So just have like two hair things here and then just have it out. That would have been cute. But again, I ran out of time. So I just kind of, I don't even know what it looks like in the back. Yeah. I'm sure it looks terrible. I guess I'll find out when I edit. And I was sitting in the front row of this thing that I went to and I was very conscious the whole time of like my hair, back of my hair probably looks really bad right now, but I digress. There's only so many things you can get worked up about these days. My hair looked as ragged as it did when it dried, as it looked on camera in the shower. It looked like the before of a homeless shaggy dog. The after being the homeless dog gets adopted by a great family and has a magnificent life and <laughs> goes to the groomer. But my point is, I look like the before. So I actually ended up taking out probably from here down and blow drying it with my Dyson because that was the only way to smooth it out. I'm not mad at it. I think I'm actually gonna start using my Dyson as my week three because I think the only thing that is gonna make my hair look a little bit better in these protective styles that I plan on wearing throughout the winter is if my hair is, looks smooth. So week one is gonna stay a twist out. Week two is gonna stay a braid out. Week three is now going to be a blown out protective style. What do you think? I was torn because I only like to use my blow dryer on my length checks, but I think I'm gonna take a step back from length checks, checks for now. I mean, I'm still gonna do one actually next week, but right now I'm more concerned about my ends and I'm gonna try to be less obsessed with my hair growing like four inches every three months because I was way too bent out of shape about maintaining length between months 15 and 18. I don't need to be hung up on that. My hair is at a great length right now. I'm perfectly fine with it. It's pretty much as long as it was when my hair was relaxed. It's probably, it's like here. I'm fine if at my next length check, my hair is still here. And my point is I don't like to use my blow dryer outside of my length checks because I don't want to see my length until three months have passed. But I also think that blowing out my hair is going to help me with single strand knots because when your hair is stretched, you're not gonna be getting as many knots because your hair is not really shrinking and tangling up on each other. And I honestly feel like my hair strands are coarse and strong and healthy enough to withstand the heat. I'm pretty positive I'm not getting any heat damage. I am very safe with my hair and I think my hair can take it. I can't say too much about the effect of using the Classy Curly Girls Cream and the Classy Curl Definer because my hair is away. I won't be taking it out until my next wash day. So the thing I'm gonna judge from that is not really gonna be definition, it's more gonna be how does my hair feel? Because in the end, it has to be about that too. I like having my twist out and my braid out because I'm able to judge the definition and the holes. But also this is about maintaining my own hair. I still wanna do three weeks of reviews, but you're not really gonna be seeing anything in my week three because my hair is gonna be put away. So let's just see how it feels in another four days. Let me jump into my review. So the Classy and Whipped Whipped Shampoo. As I've been mentioning for like a year of videos, this was by far my favorite shampoo. I would say it's still a really good one, but the only thing is I remember this being really smoothing and really detangling. It wasn't like that this time. It still allowed you in the beginning of working it in to finger detangle your hair, but I did start to feel a little bit of a cleansing, clarifying, like rubbery feeling. Not bad at all, and I would actually still say this is one of my favorite shampoos, but for a different reason. It's gonna take me forever to get through it because it's incredibly sudsy, and I am still waiting for the company to come back to me with why it's so sudsy. Based on the ingredients, it's just not clear. Organic shea butter, organic amla. The amla is a cleaning agent, I'm, I'm assuming. Organic green tea extract, and I think green tea also helps with that. Banana extract, jojoba oil, apricot oil, peach oil, and vitamin E oil. What here is foaming? I don't know. It feels really good going on. I can't say definitively that it works the same way it did as it did when I first got it. Let's assume that grammar was right. I don't, that's felt wrong. 
I remember this being really softening. It's not really softening now, but I've also had this product for well over a year at this point. Things might change over time, but regardless, I've had no scalp irritation. I had no problem using this product. It didn't tangle my hair or anything. It's just that it's not the ultra for detangling your hair with shampoo. But I don't really use my shampoo as a detangler, so I really don't care. It got my hair clean, it got my scalp clean, and I had no issues, and I still really, really like this. I think my two favorite shampoos right now are this and the Adro Beauty Bayo Mint uh, Moisturizing Shampoo. Classy and Sleek Deep Treatment. I don't remember being all crazy about this when I used it a long time ago, but I really, really like it now. It's very runny, very, very runny but it's also detangling. Normally for me, runny deep conditioners are not it. I like thick products. My hair detangled really well with this. My hair felt really good after letting it sit with heat for at least 30 minutes. I think the first week I sat for 30 minutes, the second week just because of circumstances and scheduling, I ended up letting it sit for like an hour and a half. And also now that I am styling my hair in the shower, half of my hair, oh, was this one because I always start here, gets the deep conditioner for a lot longer just because I'm styling my hair and then I'm rinsing out the deep conditioner as I style it. So I actually really, really like this deep conditioner. It's really nourishing, it's really detangling, and it keeps the moisture in my hair. I remember my hair feeling really moisturized at the end of the seven days for each of my two weeks. Of course, you have to factor in the styling products, but I do feel like a deep conditioner does play a role in that, so let's, let's go with that. Classy Pearl Definer. I use this on its own in week one, and I use it in combination with the girls' cream in week three. And I think it worked just as well as I remembered it. It's kind of looks like a gel, and it feels like a gel, but it's also really moisturizing. And if you saw me doing my hair in the shower, applying this product, I'm not doing them anymore. You could take a look at my videos to see why, but I think this would actually be a really great one product styler for a wash and go, because it, just the way that it was defining my hair when I was using it. And also it stands alone really, really well. If you remember, I did compare this against the, the Unicurl Alumint 4-in-1 Styler. Uh, I did that like a year ago and this turned out to hold up better throughout the week. I still really, really like this product and I would very much recommend it. The Classy Curly Girls Cream, I think this was good too. I used this in week two. My hair felt really moisturized at the end and I use it as a one product styler. So, I mean, one looks like a gel, one looks like a cream, but honestly, I feel like they kind of acted the same. I don't remember my hair feeling any different in week two versus week one. You could take a look at the video and see if you notice anything differently, but I feel like both of these, in combination with my mango butter, because I always use mango butter, behave pretty much the same. And they both smell really good. Oh, like really good. All of the products smell really good. The four products that I have, they all smell differently, but they all smell really good and they're mild. They're not overpowering. There are some products that smell fantastic in the tub and when you first apply them to your hair, but then it's just like really overpowering. I've never had that problem with any of these products. Everything, everything just smells really good. If you're a wash and go person, I say go with this. If you're doing twists, you can go with this. And again, week three, I used both of them. I used this first and I used this more because it looks like a gel. That's why I decided to use it second and again i don't really know my hair feels soft so far i like feel the frizz i actually do feel moisturization which is always great i'm gonna be doing my length check on thursday just to see where we are i'm just hoping my hair is not shorter than it was in week 18 because i feel like the wash and goes were destroying my hair and my length retention but at the same time the knot situation got so bad in those months that I was doing wash and goes, even just once every three weeks, I have had to cut so much hair. I know I say that all the time, but I really mean it this time, like so much hair has been cut. So I am kind of not confident it's gonna be any longer. I'm just hoping it's not gonna be any shorter, but it's very possible it will be, who knows. That brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Like, comment, and share, and I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.